All these fittings are all rusted. They're all going to have to be replaced. When I got the car, there was this much water in it. The front tires were soft and it was leaning forwards. And the front end was filled with water. So, probably a good reason why these, these uh, uh, headlight motors don't work. This side, this side doesn't look bad at all. Oh, yep, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look like that side, that's for sure. Let's just cut this. Just gonna break it. They did a nice job painting, covering up things in here. They did a really nice job keeping that looking that proper like that. Um, and it's just uh, down there you can see the red showing through. The overspray. These little clips are red. It's just stuff like that that I want to address. I'm thinking of taking this hood off uh, so I can get better access to the headlights. Uh, for that, I need help, though. Let's see if I can unlist my wife. Just need you to hold this up. Okay. I'm going to pick it up. And lay it. Walk to the back of the car with it. That way? Yeah, that way. No, I think I got it. I got it. Thank you. That's all I need. That's turning. 
Damn it. Lovely. Oh, I got it up. Nasty. Oh, look at all that crap in there. Look how rotted those lights are. Horrible. Not good, not good. Okay. So I gotta get this junk out of there. Hopefully nothing bites me. Um, so this is turning the, uh, so this nut and uh, stud are turning together, which means I got to get something. Hopefully there's, I can get access under here or through here, uh, put a, a wrench on the other end of this to prevent it from turning. Yeah. Wow. Seen better days seen better days I can run a sawzall on it let's see how bad this side is easy one this is, the, this is the one that's fused on to be a rust Ooh, I hear moisture. <laughs> moisture. I don't understand. That is a large chunk of ice. Look at that. Water draining out of it. Well, this side's clean, at least cleaner. Nothing to plug up the holes, but they must be with this much water in them. All right, let's see what we can do. debris in there and this one and this one is uh, coated solid in ice this that's all ice some screws embedded in the ice 
I don't know why those are there. All right, Let's see if we can get the ice off somehow. This one's gonna require the same type of treatment. Success. Phillips. You can tell this one <laughs> that's been underwater for quite some time. Is these things are so rusted on. Well, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Think it works? There we go. There you go. One Lotus uh, headlight pod from the Esprit. You can see the, these things are just rotten. 
I mean, thank God this stuff is fiberglass or the whole thing would be destroyed at this point. I, I'm getting the feeling that I'll, uh, this whole body is going to have to come off and anything that's metal is going to have to get replaced. Not looking forward to that. Anyway, the wiring loom itself is in great shape. I actually sprayed WD-40 on these connectors. I mean, uh, PB blast on these connectors just to get them to free so that uh, they didn't damage the wiring. So I want to keep those. They look pretty good. Um, here's the bulbs. I doubt they work. Don't really care. They'll get replaced. So uh, this one's off. That one over there. That one over there is coated in three inches of thick ice um until that ice comes off i can't get this off to get access to the uh to the wires to pull it off so this is gonna have to sit tight right where it is that's that so i can Probably start looking for parts for this guy. You know, basically, anything metal, I can assume I have to replace. I guess there's three three pieces of metal on each side. There's this outer ring, the inner ring, and then this black ring. Yeah, and these are shot. Uh, definitely need to replace them. Alrighty, add it to the list. That's it for now. All right, I had a second wind and uh, went back at it. Was able to remove the little schools that hold, screws that hold these uh, brackets in place. <clears throat> so I was able to release the light bulbs uh, from the wiring loom, push the wiring loom through the hole back there and remove this. And as you can see, I still have <clears throat> a few inches of ice. Let that thaw properly uh, so I don't do more damage than to the fiberglass. Oh well, I knew it would be a project.